Let's look at payment terms and cash discounts in SAP. Payment terms or it can also be called as terms of payment. We'll be using both the words interchangeably in our presentation. So there are conditions under which a vendor or a customer completes a sale. For example, in the, term, in the payment terms, you mentioned when a payment is expected. And if there are any discounts the buyer will receive if they pay within certain days. So the payment terms are used to define the baseline date. The baseline date is the base date from which the due date will be calculated. It's also the base date from which the cash discounts also will be calculated. You can have different cash discount periods. For example, if you pay within 15 days, you get 10% discount. If you pay within 30 days, you get 5% discount. Like that, you can have cash discount periods. And you can assign a percentage for that. So the payment terms is usually defined when you, a payment is expected and if there are any discounts, the buyer will receive. So let's look at the baseline date. So it's the starting date the system uses to calculate the due date. So in SAP, you have to select one of the default as a baseline date. It can either be the document date, which you enter as a document date. Most likely, when you receive an invoice or when you give out an invoice to the customer, the invoice date is usually your document date. The posting date. Posting date is actually when you're going to post it in the system. Or you can even assign a different posting date. Entry date. This entry date you cannot change because that is a date which you're actually keying in the entries in the system. Or you can leave it a no default date. That means no default, the baseline date will be blank. And you can later go and enter your own baseline date. So those are the four options given to calculate the baseline date in the system. From the baseline date, we mentioned the due date will be calculated. Cash discounts can be entered for different periods. You can have up to two periods for cash discounts. So this screenshot shows you the SAP cash discount screen. For example, if you mention within 15 days, if you make the payment, you get 10% discount. Within 30 days, if you make the payment, you get 5% discount. And within 60 days, you have to make the payment because that is your due date. So the, this will encourage the customers to pay early because they will receive a discount. You can see a maximum of three periods can be applied before the payment date is due. Those are the three over here in the system. In this example, this is your baseline date. For example, if your baseline date is 1st of January 2016 and you are given 15 days to make the payment and you will get 10% discount if you make the payment within 15 days. So if a customer pays by 15th of January or before 15th of January, they will get a 10% discount. But let's say the customer makes a payment by 30th of January, they get 5% discount. Anything after 30th of January, they don't get any discounts. But the customer has to make the payment within 60 days. So that will be around end of February. So that's how it's calculated. Baseline date can even be any day earlier slide. So the payment terms give you two options. One to define the baseline date. Another, if there are any cash discounts applicable. Now let's look at the payment term configuration for you to have a better understanding. The SAP configuration path for payment terms is financial accounting, accounts receivable and accounts payable. Now it's under accounts receivable and accounts payable because payment terms are related to customers and vendors. And then business transactions, incoming invoices or credit memos, maintain terms of payment. The short transaction code is OBB8. You can click on this to execute. And you can see it will display all the list of